every single person has within them a riser mindset. Now what does that mean? Because riser sounds like you know something you're sitting on right now watching me. You're on a set of risers watching a stage, watching a ball game. But a riser is someone who is willing to dig deep and consciously decide that even when life is rough, when work is stressful, when you've got stuff going on in your personal life, you are willing to say, yeah, life stinks right now, but I am going for it anyway. I'm still gonna create momentum. I'm still gonna create happiness. I'm still gonna go after my goals, even when the things surrounding you are not necessarily ideal at the time. So what does it mean to be a riser? The first thing is that you are going after results. Results are number one for a riser. Even when you are feeling stuck, you still have that endpoint in mind and you're willing to take steps to get there. Even if it's like the most teeny weeny baby steps and you feel like you're standing still, you're still creating a little bit of momentum. The second thing that is critical for risers is to manage the intensity at which you fill up your life. So intensity means how busy are you? How much do you fill up your time? How many meetings do you schedule? I want everyone right now to pull out your phone. I give you permission to pull out your phone and I want you to open your calendar. Everybody doing that? Look at how much color is in your calendar. If you've got color all day long and your calendar is blocked out all day every day from morning till night, you may have a problem with intensity. You are overly intensified in your schedule and that's gonna prevent you from rising up sometimes even when you want to because you literally don't have the mental, physical bandwidth to do it. So you really have to be mindful of you and how you perform best with the intensity levels you have set up in your life. The second element of that intensity is really then taking it to the third element of stability. When you're a riser, you manage your stability in your life. That means how secure do you feel in your job? How secure do you feel about your finances? Are you living paycheck to paycheck and every month as that bank account lowers, you start to feel your stress levels rise? That is all about stability. How about your relationships? When you get home from work, do you and your spouse have a nice peaceful relationship? Are things crazy? Do you dread getting home? Do you dread getting to work because you and your boss are butting heads? Stability is all about the safety and security that you feel in your life both personally and professionally. The fourth element of the riser mindset is engagement. Do you love what you're doing every single day? We don't, we don't, right? I mean, you just can't. You can't possibly love everything that you do every single day. But you can have moments of greatness in every day where you are looking at a project at work, when you are looking at a date night with your spouse, when you are hanging out with your kids, where you feel like, oh my gosh, my life is amazing right now. And that is engagement. And you are looking at those things as full commitment, full passion, and you are going all out. And if you want to be a riser, that's critical, that every day is filled with engaging activities that you love both at work and at home. And finally, the fifth element of that riser mindset is the most important one, and that is resilience. Now, resilience is kind of an overused word because it can be used personally and professionally. It's in magazines, Dr. Oz talks about it, Oprah talks about it. But the thing about resilience is it has to come from within. When you are down in the dumps, when something bad happens at work, when you're going through a health crisis, when you've lost a job, when you're having relationship problems, it's easy to spiral down into a little pity party, isn't it? I've been there, who's been there? Anybody been in that pity party and you've gotten overserved at the pity party? Yeah, we've all been there. But inside of yourself, there is that seed of resilience that will tell you that when you're down in that pit, only you can start to climb out of it. There can be a million people lowering ropes to you, putting their hands out to pull you up, but until you decide you're willing to reach up and physically pull yourself out of that thing, you're gonna be stuck in that hole. And that's what resilience is. Resilience is saying, no matter what, even when I'm feeling at my worst, at work or at home, I'm digging out of it. And that is the key element of the riser mindset.